Pre-draw quick scoping, perfect in-air accuracy. I knew it was good, but the Adept Whistler's Whim Trials of Osiris Bow with Gunshot Straight is even better than we first thought it was. I've learned so much since the first Whistler's Whim perk guide I put out, and I've got a ton of new info to bring you on why this bow is even better than I thought it was originally. The quirks about it are a little different than I originally thought, but in the best way possible. Oathkeeper hunters and floaty warlocks rejoice. Titans, I don't have the best news for you, but I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. But first, if you're new to the channel and enjoy Destiny 2 guides that come with a mini montage to showcase what we talk about, I hope you'll subscribe and stick around for more. Every video is just as informative and cinematic. I think the current subscribers can attest. Y'all do me a favor and leave a comment below to let them know this is the place to come to for clear and helpful Destiny 2 info. It really helps get this video out to new people. If you can't think of anything to write, just let me know which Trials of Cyrus weapon you're enjoying more, the bow or the shotgun, or what role you've got that's your favorite. Okay, let's get to it. The information here will also apply to the non-adept version of Whistler's Wimbo as well, so I think everyone will find it helpful. The main thing the Adept does is allow you to run an Adept targeting mod, since we don't have an Adept draw time or accuracy mod yet, so the Adept doesn't really do much other than increase your aim assist with Adept targeting a bit and bump your stats once you masterwork it. But there is another mod that any version of the bow, Adept or non-Adept, can run to great success. It's something I didn't talk about much in the last video because I just missed how good a specific stat was on the bow. Airborne effectiveness. This stat can be a little confusing, but I'm going to break it down in a way that's really easy to understand and help you see how amazing it is on this bow, so stay with me. Now, before we get to that, I have to rewind and correct something I said about Gunshot Straight in the last video that is game-changing for the Whistler's Whim. It is so much better than I thought, still quirky, but so much better. For those that didn't see it, well, you should definitely go back and check out the intro for that one because it's something else, but briefly summarized. I discussed how lightweight bows suffer from low accuracy stats compared to precision bows, and how that put them in a weird spot because they still required headshots to actually get enough damage to be worth running. That, to me, makes Gunshot Straight the clear winner in the perk tree. If you're not running Gunshot, it's because you're going for trick shots with Kill Clip, which is fine if you have an excellent shot, but Gunshot is active whenever you need it for the crispy double body shots at a really nice speed. Oh, Gunshot, let's go. Now here are two ways that all this is even better than I thought it was. First, Gunshot does not need to ADS first to activate. Wait, wait, Lego. I thought you said you did have to ADS first. Well, there is something that causes the gut shot damage to not always apply, but we figured it out. Myself and many others thought that ADSing fixed the problem because frequently our gut shot straight buff would not apply when pre-drawing. However, when shooting a target up close after pre-drawing, the damage was fine, as many of you saw in the Walla video. So what is going on? After banging our heads together for a few moments, and thinking about how glaive projectiles work, I've come to believe that the damage only applies if you are still ADS by the time the arrow hits your target. Arrows are projectiles in Destiny 2 just like glaive projectiles. They're just really fast, and in close range, it's pretty much impossible to descope before the arrow hits your target. However, at longer ranges, you can easily stop ADSing too soon, and I found that many of us did this naturally if we were pre-drawing the arrow. Now it's possible many of us are letting go of aiming down sights before releasing, but I was pretty intentional about it when testing. Either way, the solution to all this is to stay aiming down sights after every shot, specifically at longer ranges. Think of it as a follow through. With this in mind, we're open to some amazing possibilities with this bow, one of them being quick scoping at close range. At long range, you'll have to stay ADS as discussed but at close range you can pre-draw and quick scope and still get the gut shot straight damage. It's honestly insane to apply this much damage to a body shot quick scope. Also, on the pre-drawing side of things, it opens the doors to the Hunter Oathkeeper exotic arms. This is huge for so many bow users out there. For one, Oathkeepers has a secret trait that lets you draw about 20 milliseconds faster, not past the 500 millisecond cap, but if you don't have the perfect roll it could help a little bit. More importantly, Oathkeeper allows you to keep your bow drawn indefinitely, and you can quickscope a shot for the full 103 body damage whenever you want, 
even while jumping. Which leads me to the second way the Whistler's Whim is even better than I thought it was. Airborne effectiveness. In-air accuracy can be super confusing after all these changes they've made, but I think that I can break it down really clearly for you on this weapon. Whistler's Whim has an airborne effectiveness number of 19. That may seem low, but that is by far the highest airborne effectiveness stat of any legendary bow, precision, or lightweight. The next closest thing is under your skin, which is 15. By itself, none of this changes how this bow operates, but once you start stacking things, it becomes clear Whistler's Whim is elite. It is the only legendary bow that you can place a single Icarus mod on, adept or non-adept, and put the aerial effectiveness number into the next category of in-air accuracy. Let me explain real quick. As per Bungie, in their first swab that introduced the aerial effectiveness stat, there are five categories of effectiveness the stat can fall into. I want to note that I think this only applies to primary weapons, but that's what bows are. I'm going to summarize them because this isn't a strictly aerial effectiveness video and I just want you to grasp the concept for understanding where this bow is. 0 to 30, your in-air accuracy is bad and you have significantly low aim assist. 31 to 50, in-air will have accuracy similar to using Icarus before this stat was introduced, but it will still have a big aim assist penalty. 51 to 70, you'll have better in-air accuracy than before this stat was introduced, but you'll still have some reduced aim assist. 71 to 99, you'll have no in-air accuracy penalty, no random misses due to being in the air, you'll only have slightly less aim assist. And at 100, everything is the same as if you were on the ground. So to me, other than the obvious 100, 71 to 99 is the goal for using a weapon in the air, no accuracy penalty from being in the air. Your gun won't feel as sticky as it does on the ground, but if your shot is on target, it's going to hit. Okay, so where does Whistler's Whim fall in here? All legendary bows will fall into the 0 to 30 initially. But as I mentioned, once you put an Icarus grip on, the Trials of Osiris bow is the only legendary bow to reach the 31 to 50 category. Under your skin bow gets close at 30, but it doesn't quite hit the mark. And all the others are much further below. So that alone is pretty awesome for Whistler's Whim. I used the bow a lot just like this and it was hitting stuff really well. I had a few random misses, but overall it felt pretty great. And then, given everything we've learned about pre-drawing and gut shot, I put on the Oathkeeper exotic arms. Holy heck, are these things awesome? Yes, the pre-drawing is great and holding that pre-drawing forever is cool, but the real crazy thing is that it gives plus 40 aerial effectiveness to bows. That bumps up Whistler's Whim with an Icarus mod to 74. We completely skipped the middle category, and we are now in the no in-air accuracy penalty zone. Once again, no other legendary bow can do this with this setup. Under your skin only makes it to 70, just under the no accuracy penalty mark, so this is completely unique to this legendary bow. Combine this with Gutshot Straight and you are in for a treat. Just a reminder, and I'm gonna keep saying it, but the low accuracy stat on lightweights does not encourage you to go for headshots. It will happen in close range with this great in-air effectiveness rating, but at range, you are only going to hit body shots anyway. Gutshot Straight makes all these things combined on Whistler's Whim exceptionally good. Like, wow, I am consistently hitting for 103 across an entire map. If I miss, it's on me. And shame on anyone who tries to push a hallway with these fast draw body shots guarding it. So yeah, for me, adept, non-adept, it almost doesn't matter. If you use the new Trials of Osiris bow on the ground, sure, adept targeting will be nice to have. Maybe one day they'll introduce adept draw time or accuracy, but until then I'm going to be slapping on an Icarus mod. Adept Icarus adds a bit of handling. That's great, but not a huge deal breaker either way. Even pushing this bow up into the second tier of aerial effectiveness with that Icarus mod makes it really fun to use. For Warlocks, you don't absolutely have to use Heat Rises, and for Titans, well, unfortunately, Lion Rambins has a bug, or feature, I don't know, where it forces you to fire an arrow as soon as you ADS, so in-air bows might not be your thing. Yep. <laughs> That's so dumb, why? Speaking of being your thing, this bow won't be for everyone. The Monarch is still just a beast. Precision bows are incredibly easy to use and can get draw time combos that will match the speed of slower lightweight draw time stats depending on the setup. But if you want a bow that gives you half the speed of an ARC 3.0 speed boost intrinsically and the ability to fire extremely fast and powerful body shot damage and have perfect in-air accuracy, 
Whistler's Whim may be just for you. I know it is for me. If you're looking for the full perk guide, I have all my recommendations in the first video. I'll have that linked at the end credits. And if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing and sticking around for more informative and entertaining Destiny 2 videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment if you haven't yet. I appreciate every single one of you that does. Until next time, GG.